Hi, this is group 8. Uh, these are the members of our group. Okay, in this course, we have learned a lot of theories about HR practices and in this presentation, we will put those, pre those theories into practice of a real-life business. According to the instruction, we have to choose one company to analyze and put the practices or put the theories into practice. But our group choose two companies because we like to know how HR plays in two different companies which are totally not the same from all perspectives. So the companies we chose are the first one is TSC Thai Sports Car and the second one is Delta. Uh, hello everyone. Um, my name is Mandeep and I'm going to describe about the TSE, the Thai Sport Car Company. Uh, TSE is a group of companies. They have many companies uh, below in the com co companies. They have Thai Sport Car, uh, Sport Car uh, Renting Service, Online Marketing Service and many other B2B sub services. Their, their company is based on their company is service based company. They focus on um, delivering the best service to their customers. And um, each, each of the companies have around 10 employees in their company. Uh, they are co uh, their corporate culture is uh, service minded, fair price, and innovation. innovation. And, and service minded, they focus on um, offering the best service for their customers. Uh, for fair price, they, are, they, they maintain the reasonable price for the customers in every service and for innovation they try to be creative and, and bring the best the solutions to their customers. Their, their mission is to bring a quality life to you by delivering innovative service and products. Delta Electronics, which is founded in 1988, is a manufacturing company producing uh, electronic components and power management products like medical appliances and also uh, appliances for automobile industry, etc. The organization size of Delta is quite large. Uh, like here we can see that uh, the employee size is uh, over 10,000 employees worldwide because it has so many branches worldwide like in Australia, in Japan and etc etc. And the headquarter in Thailand it has 3,500 employees. Uh, so as we can see here, TSC is uh, the organization size is quite small, like we can see about 10 employees per company. Uh, so uh, in, uh, from the perspective of our organization size, it is quite different uh, between TSC and Delta. And also uh, the product of TSC is service and the product of Delta is, prod um, is goods. So uh, we can see how HR plays and uh, how similar or different between two of these companies. The mission of Delta is to provide innovative, clean and energy efficient solutions for a better tomorrow. And the corporate culture is innovation, quality, agility, teamwork and customer satisfaction. Um, these are the uh, primary data collection for the interview questions like uh, uh, these are the questions for manager and these are the questions for employee that we did our interview for both companies. And based on the interview results, uh, these are the analysis of TSC company. Um, let me explain the HR role of the TSC company according to the um, owner of the business. Uh, for their for their company, HR is very um, important because hey, uh, because Asia uh, brings uh, brings quality in recruit uh, rec recruitment and selection, training development, and uh, uh, sustaining their employees. Their organization culture uh, is the very uh, creative culture. And their uh, employees uh, have to be always in good mood and motivated to be creative and uh, bring innovative, innovative idea to the company. Uh, their workplace is very fle uh, flexible. Uh, they welcome new ideas from um, um, every employees of the company. 
and if any um, employees face dif difficulties, uh, difficulties, whether it's personal problems or uh, organization related pro problem, they can freely discuss with their um, manager and uh, their, uh, their manager tend to provide them the best solution all the time. And um, the, the, the owner state that uh, personality is more important for the company than the skills. Because personality, um, uh, having good personality helps the com com company to bring creative, um, innovative and productive ideas and afford to the companies. And he said that the skills can be improved. Skills and performance can be improved, but personality cannot, right? Yeah. Okay, this is the our, uh, HR role from the manager perspective for Delta. Um, according to the HR manager, uh, the, uh, the role of HR in Delta is recruiting, retaining and development. Because in recruiting process, uh, what they want from the employees is the performance and business skills. Like uh, Delta is an international company, so uh, they will. Uh, so uh, the business skill is like employees at least should be able to speak English, and also uh, it is uh, it's like a technical and electronics company. So the background should be related with that um, that field like that and they will recruit those kind of talented and uh, um, talented and intelligent employees and after that they would like to retain them as long as possible in the organization and after that to retain them in the organization longer they will give some kind of development and training programs for them and uh, uh, as we know Delta is a very large organization so in order to in order to make efficient and um, effective communication within the organization and to cope with each individual difficulties uh, they assign uh, many managers and team leaders in, in this way um, like um, each individual wants difficulties and conflicts would be acknowledged by their their managers and team leaders and there is also another department in Delta, it's called labor department. The labor department responsibility is like they have to solve the problems arising from the employees like conflicts and also uh, family issues of each individual one like that. So HR department in Delta is just like a middleman because uh, they don't have to deal with employees issues and conflicts, right? And uh, but it depends on the nature of the organization because uh, the role of HR in some organization would be different. But in Delta, because of the presence of labor department, HR role is something like a middleman. Okay, uh, and also what we got to know from the HR manager is like HR is in the past. Uh, the HR role is like um, um, hiring, firing and some administrative tasks and also payroll like salaries giving to the employees. But nowadays it becomes the business partner to get to the organization goal and mission. And uh, according to the result of the interview, what we got to know is our Delta organization culture is family type. But uh, what, uh, we also found some differences. Between, uh, between the answers of them and the reality, but I will give some details in the next slides. Okay, HR role in employees' perspective. Uh, according, to, um, according to some issues and problems, uh, we can't make the employees, employees interview for TSC, but we, we can make it for uh, Delta. So this is the result of our employee. Uh, this is the result of our interview summary from the employees' interview. Like from the perspective of employees, HR role is just a middleman for the communication between staffs and senior managers or board of directors. Uh, as I explained to you before, it depends on the nature of the organization. This kind of HR role is only for Delta. This is the leadership style of TAC company. So, based on different kinds of theories, uh, we will have some three different that we have lined up 
to explain a little bit about the company. Relationship based, so this kind of behavior is uh, most focused to employees because as, as a innovative and productive company, they have to be in such a way connected to each other to be fresh, to produce more and better services because that connection that brings them together in order to provide a better services. And uh, the company is also employee oriented. So this is in the part of the manager. So manager tries his best to be familiar, to know better his employees and to get and try to explore better of them so that the employers can do better and can show better the inputs in order to bring better outputs. Uh, and uh, the leadership style of the manager is democratic. As we say in behavioral theories and University of Michigan, they are family, they are connected. They share their work. They try to bring their best together. So the leader provides them the empowerment the necessary tool and supports to bring uh, all the best for the company. Okay, this is for uh, Delta. Um, okay, so uh, based on the behavioral theories, like uh, Delta follow the structure-based behavioral theories because Delta is an international company and it has so many branches worldwide. So and also it focuses on the uh, like um, it focuses on a uh, leverage of global value system and also collaborate uh, with a mutual goals. So in this way, um, it's quite clear that it follows the structure based behavioral theories and from the perspective of leadership. Um, based on the University of Michigan study is a production oriented leader because Delta focuses so much on the KPIs of the organization um, and also uh, from the Lee Wan's leadership styles um, okay let me explain a, a little bit about this we say it's autocratic but according to the answers that we got from the interview and also data is available on, on uh, data available online it seems like Delta has democratic leadership style um, but uh, there are some differences because you know what mm, uh, according to um, according to the uh, answers that we got from interview is like employees both employees and manager tend to give the feedbacks as positive Everything is positive, like there is no conflict in the workplace, there is no family issues, or there is no black sheep in the organization. Everything is going well. Okay, let's think about let's think about the organization size of Delta. Delta is a very large company with uh, over 3,500 employees in the headquarter of Thailand. Is that really possible for, uh, for that there is no conflict or problems in the organization? But in reality, I don't really think so. There will be some problems, but they want—they don't really want to disclose the real, the real thing and the reality to the public. They tend to give the positive, only positive feedbacks to let the public know. And also in the interview process, what we found out is there is control over the employees and also over the manager to give their um, to give the honest feedback. And also like um, the I mean. The whole interview is not enough to set up the, um, the main problem and to give the recommendations. I um, we did another research about Delta. Yes, this is the secondary data collection that we got from Google. Here, what we can see is the person worked at Delta Electronics for more than three years. And what we suggest is that the problem of Delta is less transparency in HR policy. That's the problem that we point out there. And no appraisal process, not competitive salary, and uh, he, he doesn't recommend to work there, etc. So it's a, uh, his advice to management is 
set clear goals for each employee, set clear standard for your team. Employees need to know not only what you expect them to do, but how you expect them to approach their work. Okay, this is the next one. Is the problem is like uh, internet communication is not efficient. And another one is KPIs tend to be extremely high, impossible to reach, excessive pressure, and unfair life balance. And uh, the advice to is, is it's already proved that people produce more and better when happy and not under high pressure. So, according to those results, what we found out is Delta is not applying the full, um, not applying the HR policy that they set online. They are not applying them usefully in reality. They just disclose the good sides to the public only. But in reality, in the organization, there are a lot of inefficient HR policies. And also, uh, from those feedbacks, it is quite clear that there is so much control and pressure in the organization. So. So uh, we assume that the leadership style based on Lewin's leadership, uh, Lewin's leadership theory is Delta is autocratic rather than democratic. These are the Asian challenges and problems of two companies. For both companies, we have some kinds of problems and some suggestions as a solution. So, TIC, as we can see, they have problems in recruitment and selection. According to the interview, uh, they have problems in person job fit, which makes uh, a harsh for manager to deal with the situation. So, what happens? TIC uh, is a small size company. So, while recruiting, there may be a lot of people applying for a very few seats or specific position. So, and uh, while that is not so easy in order to select who is the best one, who will fit the specific job. So, uh, they're mostly based on higher effect and another kinds of kinds of behaviors. So, a lack of HR strategy is another problem that they are having. As stated here, recruitment is selection. is a problem they are having. But they have not any specific, or they didn't mention which kind of strategy they are building in order to fix up the problem. So it's like, oh, what will come up? Nothing comes in lack theory, so they must elaborate something specific like in short, medium or long term results in order to fix up the problem. Okay, uh, the Asian problems of Delta, uh, the first thing is emotional intelligence for the person job fit problem, second one is motivation and training. Okay, uh, for the emotional intelligence, it's like um, uh, for the recruitment process, uh, uh, like um, they select the talented ones, the intelligent ones, and and after that they give the trainings to them. After those training, um, uh, they set the uh, they set each individual person to the specific roles. In this way, what they have to get is emotional intelligence to um, to put the right person to the right position. Okay, another one is motivation. Okay, let me discuss a little bit details about motivation. Okay, uh, what we found out the problem of, uh, yeah, the problem or challenges of Delta is high dependence on extrinsic motivation and high dependence on bureaucracy, meritocracy, and ad hoc crazy. Why? Because Delta uh, is mainly uh, mainly depend on the uh, on their KPIs and all that, and 